when we live in the Philippines, ako naman yung hindi masaya, parang it's not home anymore. Really? I don't know. I don't feel like home anymore. I don't feel like, parang iba na. Hindi ka iba. na, hindi ka na iba. homesick. Naman. I, I miss mm. a lot of things in the Philippines. Pero after, parang mas home ako at home ako in Serbia. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Pero dami kong namimiss from the Philippines. Like, friends. Mm. And everyone. Mm. Friends, uh, food. Yeah, yeah, food. Climate. Um, and how easy it is to get out during winter right. time. Mas wala, because we don't wala, have winter. Because we don't have winter. <laughs> Plus yung familiarity. Like, going mm. around and everything. Yes, yes. Yun. Mas better in Serbia. Because I feel, I feel where my taxes go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, um, right? socially... Socially, I think. I mean, man, my like, kids go to daycare and school for free. I don't pay anything. Yes. They can. Mm-hmm. They they stay there for the whole day. They're fed mm-hmm. for free, right? So Philippines, yeah. sana ko yan, public school. Mm-hmm. Why would I risk my kids to go to public school? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hindi you naman have to sa, pay. Oh, baka for mama, a, and in the Philippines, you have tayo, to pay ah, for a good baka school. Baka mabash tayo kasi yung mga public school people. I'm not. Uh-oh. No, I, I also let's came from real. a public let's school. Let's be real. But... Let's be real. I came from a public school. I won't. Mm. I won't put my kids in the same school. Something like that. I won't put mm. my kids. But oh, beneficial, shall we? Got the UP. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I think I think school. um yeah. If you're really smart, then you would really stand out. Mm. But I think if you're not smart, and then um, the economical background in a public school I don't think you'll have mo- much chance later on <laughs> depende talaga sa siguro strategy Mm-mm. how people grab opportunities to, yes. to rise up mm-hmm. anyway so yon um free free school daycare wala namang free daycare in Pinas um universal healthcare in Pinas uh, we we medicate, and we self medicate because we're all afraid to go to the doctor. Because every time you go to the doctor, you have to pay. Here, no, we don't pay anything. You feel sick, go have a checkup. It's free. Right. I pay healthcare too. Parang we have like in Pinas like Phil Health. I mm-hmm. I pay the state, you know, insurance, yeah. health insurance. Mm-hmm. But I feel where it goes. I gave birth to Amaya for free. I gave birth. To, they're mm-hmm. both cesarean births, Maria and Amaya, my first and second. Um, I was private. I went to a semi-private hospital to give birth to Maria. I think we spent mura na nung panahon na oh my god, I'm so old. At that time, mura ang CS. Um, uh, probably around um, 2,000, maybe mm-hmm. less. Around one to 2,000 euros. Uh, wow. to give birth to Sarian. Um here I didn't I didn't pay anything. <laughs> I stayed longer, I think two weeks because I had complications. Mm-hmm. Uh with Maria we were I wanted to go out. Like let's go. I'm I can walk already, let's go. Because the longer you stay at the hospital the the higher you pay. Right? In the hospital since it's semi private. So I was yeah. in a hurry to go home. Like, let's go because tomorrow you'll have to pay again, right? It's, it's mm-hmm. another another day in the bill. So just, it's like a taxi meter. It's going until <laughs> you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to go. Like, let's go. I wanted to go. Here, I gave birth for free. Like, I didn't pay anything. Nothing. And then after, I think I stayed two weeks. Nothing. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. And then after giving birth, when you go home, they send uh, a midwife a nurse to mm. visit you for a month at home to check on the yeah. baby to check mm-hmm. on you and that's mm-hmm. free that's free yes the government sends those um and i gave i gave yeah. birth um during covid uh mm-hmm. time so yes yeah uh, voila i think yon we're going to like living in abroad like what's the benefit siguro yun yung mm-hmm. masasabi ko na that's why I, I then i didn't want to go back and live in the philippines mm-hmm. kasi wala pa tayong ganong benefits in the exactly the healthcare yes um social yeah 
system. So, parang, I want to mm-hmm. go back to the Philippines for familiarity, for my friends, for food and everything. But mm-hmm. it's not practical. It's not when practical. It, especially, especially if you have kids. Like, if we have mm-hmm. kids, I also keep telling myself that. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you know, really, like, when you have a kid, it's really their future first. Right. So, I guess... Not the Philippines at uh, as mm-hmm. of the moment. Are we bashing the Philippines? Philippines. No, Philippines. Are... <laughs> no, 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 I know not, the definitely. Philippines. There's so many good things about the Philippines, right. but um, it's just that we are describing it as it yeah, is we're now. There already. On it has so much natayo. potential. <laughs> On yeah, topic as it natin. is now, there's so much potential, and I guess um, the means that we have. Um, the opportunities that we're gonna have just in case we decide to go back. So it's like we're just weighing mm. the the pros and cons. So what's the pros? What's the pros and cons of living in Switzerland? Well, of course, I think um, everybody knows how efficient the system is, how... Um, uh, on time everything is and um you get everything i mean you earn what you work for and it's really even if you work part time it's really really enough to support the family mm-hmm. yeah and um the social system the healthcare it's clean they take they take care of their environment very very sustainable yeah i guess um that's it the only the only downside uh that i see of course people are cold <laughs> the, it, this is not a general thing of course they're always exemption but compared to the filipinos of course we're warm-blooded <laughs> we're warmer <laughs> no we're, we're we're warmer than um they are mm. we're more hospitable and um we trust easily also strangers strangers we would welcome with open arms back in the philippines mm. but here uh, they're kind of like cautious parang it means prove your sir- yourself first before uh, for you to earn our trust yeah i think no it's not well it's almost the same here um Imagine it's not the same as Switzerland in terms of uh, facilities and everything, but it's still better than Philippines. I like the transportation. Um, but like, I don't know. The last time we took the bus there, they were also kind of like there was no timetable. Because we, I <laughs> we now there to, is now there is Belgrade. now there is. Now there we were is. waiting you for like 30 there. minutes for that yeah. bus to arrive. Now there is. You will see like a monitor okay. or something. And okay. Tells you like minutes, um, how much time you're going to wait. For okay, that's good. <laughs> it's yeah. better now. But still, mm-hmm. even the old system when you went here, still better than in the Philippines. Because um, buses are, you know where the stop is. Diba? In the Philippines, not, you have to say bye. <laughs> Hindi siya nag, nag stop anywhere, yeah, you know. wherever you. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone follows some um, traffic. Well, not everyone, but still, it's better than in the Philippines. Because in the tamang right lane, li- right lane, mm-hmm. everyone, mm-hmm. um, buses, um, uh, everything. So efficient mm-hmm. ng transpo. Maybe not as efficient as the transpo in Switzerland, <laughs> but still better than in the Philippines. Less traffic. Mm-hmm. Like oh my gosh! I remember. I, um, I remember my father-in-law says it's traffic in Serbia, and we were we were moving. Siguro may may just slow, but we were mm. moving. Like you see a bit of cars. Like I I said like if this is traffic, like yeah like, I know <laughs> if this is traffic to you you will lose your yeah. head. <laughs> yeah, when you go in the Philippines, you have it. 
it took us yeah some... that's why i don't understand my i mean the swiss people they don't understand me like when they start saying because the swiss people they really hate the traffic they hate waiting mm-hmm. because if they have to be on time like they yeah. have to use their time very very efficiently so it's not easy for them to sit in the traffic even if it's just like 15 30 minutes so they don't understand when they when when i say ah it's only a 30 minute traffic or a one hour traffic or i would just be commuting driving an hour it's not really a big deal and 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 for them it's such a big deal having to sit um on the freeway for 30 minutes without moving it's because yeah i mean the philippines we have worse you sit in the traffic the whole day (laughs) half day (laughs) without moving and yeah, yeah. So, I, I remember I remember when Goran was driving in the Philippines. We had to cross we had to cross Rosario Bridge. And that's just probably like less than a kilometer long. And it took mm-hmm. us like more than an hour mm-hmm. to, from the start of the bridge <laughs> to the end of the bridge. In Rosario, in Pasig. You, you should have there. just walked. Yeah, I said if I walk, I'll be waiting at the other end for the car. I guess this is a reason why I have really, really, uh, I have really like um, muscled calves. My calves are muscled because I did a lot of walking <laughs> in Manila. Yeah, uh, yeah, traffic that's worse in the Philippines. What, what's, ano pa, what's the con? In Serbia, I think it's the same. Um, better on customer service natin in Philippines than, than in Serbia. Here, like what you said, their people oh, are... Oh yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, In, in the Philippines, we, we treat the customers like they're lords, kings and princesses. Yes. Here, yeah. no. Like, mm-hmm. no. Like, no, you can't do that. Like, when the Swiss... Like, if you... Like, when you call to complain, like, you have to be really, really polite because, I don't know, it's just... It's just a cultural thing because, um, yeah, this, the, yeah, the Swiss, they're like, they know their, I don't know, they, they know their right. They know mm-hmm. the dignity, um, that they were, they're doing dignified, really, really dignified work and, um, they're efficient and then they're doing the job. And as long as you treat them well as a customer without raising your voice, shouting and all that, then it will be sorted out. Here, I, <laughs> I, I, parang, I don't know. I feel like here in the service industry, I feel like people hate their jobs. Like, really? I, I don't know. It's like they don't want to do it for you. They don't want to be in the job. Like when you go there, it's like they're bored or mad that you're asking for help or something. Really? Like that. Very, very. Like, for example, unapproachable. Something like that. Like, uh, do you have an incident? Did you have? Uh, it's it's like, no, it's it's when you go up to the counter, it's like they don't want to answer you. Uh, uh-huh. You you feel it. You feel it like, like that aura that they don't want to, like, don't come to me, don't come closer, something like that. Mm-hmm. The, in banks, mm-hmm. in, in mm-hmm. government offices, like in the Philippines, when when you come in everywhere like everyone is saying hello how are you like welcome to here like even if there's no order even if there's no order and there's so much bureaucracy Mm -hmm. um yeah it's like they're always smiling they're happy that there is a customer like Mm. people here i I don't want to generalize but most most people here like it, as much as possible they don't want to have customers <laughs> like because that's work right if there's yes. a customer or even like person mm-hmm. coming in it's another mm-hmm. person that they have to to work for or to, something yeah mm-hmm. so you feel that you feel that in their like how they treat you, their the, their tone of voice probably they're not I, really no. they're I, not I, I really, cannot say i cannot um, say probably it's because of the salary because it is because of the salary, is it? Probably. Okay. Because it's not like the, you know, first world Europe countries like Switzerland and Germany mm. and stuff. Mm. All, all, even Serbians go go abroad, go to Germany and other countries that give higher pay. Because salary here is like, you went into Philippines. I don't know why people come here. <laughs> 
So I think if I work locally, I would probably be complaining. Because it's it's not really that different from the salary in the Philippines. Oh really? Okay. The guru we pay we pay more. Um, we pay more here on certain um, work. Like for example, in the Philippines we pay nannies and housekeepers very mm. low salary, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like really cheap labor. Yeah. Like very cheap labor. Not even like. Parang parang if you offer it here, di makatarongan. <laughs> Indeed, here I mean, you have to pay to pay a nanny or housekeeper per hour. Like, or I a said, monthly like, salary or a monthly a monthly salary. salary. Yeah. I said, I think I paid um, Amaya's nanny because I hired a nanny when I gave birth to Amaya because mm-hmm. I want to go back to work uh, uh, ASAP. Yeah. Parang something like that. Anyway, I don't want to dive into that story. Uh-huh. I hired a nanny. Um, I think I paid her the same salary that I was getting when I was a teacher. Mm. As in, ganun. Ganun ka ma- Imagine, siguro mga 20,000 pesos. That's the salary of a nanny. <laughs> Baka nga mababa pa yun. Eh. Magre-reklamo yung ano, pe- people here, Filipinos here are working as a nanny. Yeah. Magko-complain. <laughs> Sabi nila, hindi na ako mag-work. Kaya ako ganun lang yung salary. <laughs> And siya naman yung nag-dictate ng salary niya na, oh, you can pay mm. me this much for a month and I'll work for you for five, six hours. Mm. I don't regret anything. Do you have regrets leaving Philippines? Or, I don't know. No. <laughs> regrets? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't either. Even looking back, even yung getting, getting pregnant, no. um, losing the job to you sa UAE. Mm. Yes. Did you have a hard time with language. Here, kasi, it's a struggle with language because not a lot of people speak in English. Um, I, did, well, I didn't learn. I, I could I have know. gone by. I uh, could have gotten by with English because um, definitely they'd understand English. They would speak not as good as the Filipinos, but you will understand them. Um, but then it's just for daily business. Like if you are looking for a career, if you want to do, you know, if you want a job, even in McDonald's, you have to be able to speak German. Parang ganon din dito. It's hard. You're, I to mean, find if you want to, if you want to be part of the working force, and if you want it uh, to be easy to find a job, then mm-hmm. it's definitely advisable to learn the language. It's possible to find something here because a lot of Pinoy who work in mm-hmm. the service industry mm-hmm. uh, are not fluent in Serbian. Pero nasa uh, sila um, service industry, so no, it's not really required. Talaga, pero it's health. You have to. Because people very rare yung marunong mag English to communicate actually. Anyway, so what what do you miss? Parang we mentioned it earlier in the conversation, but what what do you miss in the Philippines? Let's dive deeper deeper into that. What do I miss? Well, I'm uh, the, the the first uh, really on top of my list. My my close my close friends friends that I've um that I've known from college or from high school. But I guess most of them, I mean, the ones from high school, like my best friend in high school, she's not in the Philippines also. Brain drain nga. Yeah, first the friends, people who know me better. Because Mm -hmm. um, that's just the one thing that I miss here. Uh, Because let's be honest, even if I make friends here now, I don't think that... Um, they're gonna be in the same level as the people that who've yeah, as the wavelengths. people that I've who've known me right. uh, when I was like nobody or when I right. was struggling. And the, the experiences that I've shared with like you and or Venice or my best friend in high school when we were just sharing like maybe shopao during <laughs> break time or shawarma during break time. That's still different, and I mean, yeah. So yeah, that's the one thing. The first, the, the first, 
um, and foremost on my list of the mm. things that I miss from the Philippines. That and uh, food. The food, right. of course, but probably I'd have to be careful now because there's just too much rice that goes along <laughs> with <laughs> Filipino food and the desserts. Of course, the desserts, my gosh, the, the fruits and all that. Yeah, food Mango. in general. And then the warmth. Uh, I just love how Filipinos um, deal with kids in the provinces. And um, and it's easy, I think, it's easy to make Filipinos happy. Like, just buy them food and then they're happy. And um, yeah, and 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 the happiness that it gives me, like for example, making also str- um, strangers like kids, for example, happy, like mm-hmm. get, hand them chocolates and all that. Because before I couldn't you know, do that, <laughs> just mm-hmm. randomly give out chocolates because of student student budget. Right. But yeah, those things. So it's my friends. Uh, of course, including I'm clo- closer to my mom, so friends, uh, a few uh, relatives, <laughs> not all of them, <laughs> <laughs> friends, a few relatives, uh, food, and climate, I think, in general. Climate and the, yeah. Me, ako rin, friends, friends who you would, you know, easily call to meet up, have coffee somewhere, or, you know, because here, I think I had a hard time making connections, probably because they don't yeah. know me. Oh, let's talk about connections. <laughs> it's hard to make, even with the uh, with with uh, fellow mm. Pinoys, with Kababayan. Mm. It's That's hard to make a connection thing... because you don't really? meet regularly. They don't know you deeper, you know. And so yeah, yon. And even if you click with um with new people it's never gonna be the same it's never gonna be the same yeah Mm. yeah it's hard to make a connection plus i don't go out much siguro na perform ko na yung habit na yun since i started nga being disciplined with with uh money i don't go out much i don't meet people a lot um but 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 i don't but you're enjoying it i like helping people i like helping that's what that's what I enjoy. I like organizing events. Mm. I like, you know, uh, yun. But deeper connections. I don't have a barcada here. I see really? that people, yeah, I yeah. see that there are people who, like, you know, when you follow people on, on social media, I see people but, who and, regularly and be, go out. Yeah, and to be honest, we have also, I realized, as a, as a uh, you know as, as as a mom you have a you have a job you have a, fa- a a home to run you have two kids to attend to um it's also difficult to find somebody to find, uh, in the same phase that you are right now and uh-huh. also who has time because you yourself doesn't have enough time right to invest that's why i don't to I invest don't go out you know. I don't talk to people. I don't have like regularly, like you know, merong, there are people who have circles of friends that you regularly talk mm-hmm. to. To you know, um, mm-hmm. even on chats, I don't chat with people. I don't have time to answer. You know, yung, to to talk about life with other people. To talk about plus, ayoko na machismit. <laughs> Meeting. I don't even have time for coffee. We, 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 we are close friends. We don't have yeah. time to like. Whenever you give me a date, I'm like, how do I put this in my calendar? I don't have space in my calendar for anything. That's why I don't have time for chismes. I don't have time to, you know, kamustahan with everyone, even on chat. Like, okay, let's let's talk. Like, no, it's it's no, fine. I, mean, I for, totally for understand that. the distance because I don't know. I'm I'm like. Even no, even with people here, like I don't have time for like like you said for trivial things, like because my time, I don't know, it it comes with age. Then now I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know I'm getting mm-hmm. older. Why why would I waste my time? Yeah, um, you know, talking about somebody else's life or I don't know, and uh, probably... making up stories about someone when I could put it on something like 
that would pay me like my work mm. or you know mm. if it doesn't and make also, me happy or doesn't make me rich no i don't i don't have time and, for it and also in a way i think experience <clears throat> has also thought taught me that um i've known a lot of people uh like met as acquaintance and all that and then eventually i had a feeling that also um like some of them once they got to know me that they kind of like also slipped away so it's like for me there's no point really trying to amass many um, as many people as i could or as i should because mm. eventually if you are not able or they they cannot stay for some reason or they didn't want to stay they're gonna go mm -hmm. and i think the people who stay these are the really ones it's good to put a filter at the beginning already yeah, right, like, right. for example um yeah if at the beginning i feel like uh our philosophy our life philo my, my life philosophy doesn't jive with this person's life philosophy i mean there's no point that's already a filter mm -hmm. well eventually probably in the future, this person will will develop, or probably we're gonna meet at some point in the future. But right now, I don't, I don't really see myself. I do appreciate the people person. who stayed, who stayed, who actually like, who stayed even when I don't talk to them a lot, like even when yeah. I don't have time for them. Yeah. Like because yeah, I re I, we rarely talk. I I haven't talked yeah. to Don for a while. I with my close friends i uh, we have like we had to schedule we had to schedule when are we going to catch up because that's how busy we are so i really mm. don't have time for that. that's why that's that's going back to the original question that's what i miss in the philippines the the friends who know me who accept exactly. me for me who knows mm. like my moods and everything who knows how to navigate <laughs> around yeah, my crazy yeah. you know when i'm yeah, and that's, and yeah that's the thing with and new accept acquaintances me. yeah with new acquaintances you like for example in parties and all that the, the first time you meet them they they see you with your best mm -hmm. foot forward right they see you in all your glory because you have to present your best self yeah in that you don't have one to occasion be, yeah but you're yeah, I mean, you're not always like that. Like, for example, sure. me during in the winter, like with this like kind of weather season right now, I just feel like um, crazy most of the time. Right. And the period comes and all that, and all the mood swings and oh. <laughs> you know. That's why and I, I know. just I just want I a miss, friend yeah. or probably that... another girl, a friend with the same wavelength who would understand and who wouldn't add up. Uh, who wouldn't make tampo that um i'm being cranky that who wouldn't uh, probably make up stories be about you yeah. being this person mm. this mm. monster that they made mm. you to be like that's why yeah. i miss our friends in the philippines because they already know me they know you know like when i become a monster i'm not really a monster <laughs> You know? mm -hmm. like not not every word this like oh i'm an insensitive person or something no because they know me they know who i really am that's why i miss these people because i don't mm -hmm. have that that kind of group here bianca i guess mm -hmm. um we should just accept the fact that at this age or at this point in time it really has to be like that because first yeah, we're not yeah. college students anymore yeah um, we're not young professionals anymore uh, <laughs> who still don't have any responsibilities, who don't have right. to cook meals at home, who have to be at home at 6 or 7 because mm -hmm. somebody's going to go hungry. And uh, right. yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. I Plus, guess yeah, you just have to accept Philippines that. food. That's what I mean. Food. Although I cook, cook good Filipino food. <laughs> That's what mm, I'm yes, proud you of do. Myself. Yes, you do. <laughs> but still, diba, things like isaw, um, in Antipolo, mm. this fried chicken in Antipolo, those in, in sticks, um, mm. whack, whack, and everything yeah. that, that's not here. Comfort food, of course. Comfort yeah, food. The, the like, food that you grew up with. It's yeah, always... things that you can't have here. You know, Miss mm. Manga. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh i was just checking out this filipino restaurant in zurich so zurich is just an hour it's, it's, it's an hour drive uh -huh. there's a filipino zurich uh, filipino restaurant in zurich and i just just checked out 
their sinigang for two people is fifty dollars. Grabe! <laughs> yeah! And, and imagine the ingredients in sinigang. I mean, you can do it direct from a pouch and it's $50. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, so, so, <laughs> so, ano po ba? What, what else do I miss in the Philippines? I don't know. Just friends and food. What else? I don't and know what else. Climate, that's why, how easy it that's is why, to go out. Well, I, I'm used to the, I don't know. I'm used to the climate in Europe winter and I still go out even in mm. snow. <laughs> even in snow. So, nakakatamad lang but still, yeah. I still go out. Mm. Not the climate eh. Siguro the warmth of the people. Yung, yun nga, yung customer service, the people mm. are welcoming whenever you come in like a store. They're happy that you're there because you're a customer. You're, you're a potential buyer so they welcome you. And here mm-hmm. you come into the store, parang they're all like, oh my god, another costume. Nang i-store mo ka pa. <laughs> oh, you're, you're like, I wasn't doing anything before. Now I have to do something. Because parang they're not happy that they're, it's gonna be another buyer. It's gonna be another business, di ba? Mm. In the Philippines, yeah, yung warmth ng tao, that they're very welcoming. Ano pa ba? What else do I miss in the Philippines? I don't miss a lot in the Philippines. My asawa ko, oh, he missed the Philippines because of the beach. Sabi niya, he would, he would like, oh, you know, up when he retires, me. he wants to <laughs> yeah, buy a house. Yeah, he told me. Yeah, yeah he told me. Away One from acquaintance the told me that uh, we probably miss the Philippines because we don't live there. Mm-hmm. But um, I think after a few months, we're just going to have enough and then we're going to yeah, miss balik Europe. But kasi, Which is, I think, true. Because I like the system here. Like, I can compare Serbia with Switzerland because I'm pretty sure Switzerland is way better. But still, Serbia is still better than Philippines in terms of, you know, yeah. um, you know, bus system pa lang, uh, mm, walking paths. I can, I can walk because there are walking paths. I can walk from here to mm. the city. Like, even if it's 30 minute to one hour walk, I would walk. In the Philippines, it would take tricycle because it's dangerous to walk. Right? So, here yes. it is, you know. Yeah. Um, proper walking paths. There are trees everywhere. Tree. So, I mm. like living in Antipolo before because of the trees. Mm. Um, I like living, like, away from the city of Belgrade. We're still part of Belgrade, but a bit, Suburbs. you know. Yeah. yeah. Parang Antipolo. <laughs> where you're, like, mm. uh, in between, you know, cities. And provincia, so trees and everything, less buildings. So I like living in Antipolo. And same here because it's parang Antipolo. Parang it reminds me on, of Antipolo that I'm I'm close to the city but not that close to be bothered mm. by traffic and noise and everything. Mm. So ayon, um, wala and dami kasi benefits in Serbia that I can't leave Serbia for my kids, special free school, yeah. free healthcare. Well, not really exactly free because I pay taxes. So, plus benefits. Like, from time to time, nagbibigay ng benefits ang government. Pra- parang recently, nagbibigay sila ng ano, um, 10,000 voucher for the kids. Parang to buy winter stuff. Wow. Both of them. Okay. Kaya parang feeling ko every winter, they have new shoes and winter jackets because of that. Wow. Parang, I don't, I don't know, parang voucher thingy allowance, winter allowance mm. ng kids. So, they both get 10, 10 I think it's 10,000 each of them. So, mm. yun, yun yung pinangbili namin ng bagong, sila, nagkakaroon ng bagong shoes. Ako, wala. <laughs> sila, kasi meron silang pa-voucher for power. Kasi nga, yung benefits. Sorry, from... what is the, what's the political, how do you say that, system of Serbia? Is it? Uh, there's a prime minister. Uh, what do uh, you call this? So Parliament. Call that? Uh-huh. Parliament. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, you you vote for one party. Or Parliamentary. Something. Okay. Yeah. I think there was an election last month, like in December. I didn't vote. I can vote now, yay! Because I'm a Serbian citizen. Now. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. since when? But I didn't uh, since last year. Mm. Uh, I used my my Serbian passport first time. Uh, when we went to Greece, <laughs> ah, <laughs> before yeah. I have, I had to apply when when we were traveling to Germany, Portugal, uh, mm-hmm. for Schengen visa. Mm-hmm. 
Now I can yeah. go to you without bothering <laughs> about yes, <pizza>. come. <laughs> yeah, we just have come. to find like a <laughs> like, yeah. That is, para ako naman yung magbato. Yeah, yun lang time. So yeah, yun pros and cons. Parang better para nang serve. So, invite natin. So, what Thank anong you. anong <laughs> what's the summary? Anong ma-advise natin? So, does it does me are we encouraging I people cannot... to leave the Philippines? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hindi naman. No, be wise about choices. Um mm-hmm. I can't directly advise um going to Serbia because there are Filipinos here who struggle pa. Filipinos who get abused. Um uh, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That's why I started nga the association to help people. Kasi ang dami mm. kong narinig na, ang dami nagsusumbong sa akin. I don't know why sa akin nagsusumbong. Even before I I I founded the association. Uh, uh, marami nang nagkukwento sa akin na, oh, uh, uh, was was abused by spouses. Uh, mm-hmm. Marami to. And uh, now, more common now is yung labor exploitation. Before, mostly, ano lang eh, asa, asawa lang. Mm-hmm. problem spouses domestic violence yung problem now oh my god um, even labor exploitation human trafficking everything so that's what we're trying to you know help people so i can't directly advise to come to serbia but it's mm-hmm. like, while it's beneficial because of the benefits when you pay taxes and everything mm-hmm. but um i think what i would advise is be wise with making decisions parang ako Parang ikaw, di ba? Ikaw, ako, before we even came here, before we joined our, our partners to their home countries, mm-hmm. we had to make a lot, you know, of planning and thought into it. Like, parang before I even went to Serbia, I was like thinking, kaya ko ba to? Parang ganun. Do I go with this person? Kahit kasal na kami for, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, kasi, um, Parang yung courtship namin masyadong mabilis, di ba? Parang we just met parang a few months and then kasal agad. So, hindi naman ako tatanga-tanga na, oh, join agad, parang, di ba? Ano pat mm. graduate ka ng UP tapos hindi ka nag yeah. So, yes, in love, pero puso ba ang pagaganahin mo? Parang tinuruan naman ng nanay. Tinuruan naman ako ng nanay ko na <laughs> huwag maging tanga-tanga <laughs> with, with, ano, yeah. with, uh, sorry for the word. Huwag maging tanga-tanga with deciding. Parang hindi po, mm-hmm. hindi, hindi naman parating hilig ang relationship. So, yes, before we 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 migrated, nag-usap naman kami, kinilala ko yung asawa ko. Parang maraming communication, maraming talk about, you know, how are we going to live together? Anong, parang ang dami na naming decisions. Parang dapat pang, pang love month to eh. Parang before pa we migrated, we made decisions about certain things like how are we going to handle kids how are we going to handle finances how are we going to like handle faith because we have different faiths like you know yung ganon how 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 do we respect each other's boundaries ha, ganyan mga little mm-hmm. things para maging smooth yung mas easier yung transition to migrating yeah. from people Ako, how do you deal with culture para sa akin yun yung advice ko with Filipinos. Be wise before you come here. Alamin mm. yung mga yung mga basic things that you have to know para just yeah. in case you need help. Parang ito yung contact number ng police. Ito yung contact number ng hospital, emergency services. Ito yung yeah. embassy. Ito yung ganyan. Kasi walang embassy in Serbia. Walang mm. Philippine embassy. So you have to go to the best. But yeah, we have association now na you can call mm. pag may ganong mga agencies. Kaya, yeah. ko, kaya, kaya ko siya finahon because of that to help people para you have dahil it's walang embassy good. dito walang embassy dito you have the association to help you hindi lang siya yung for, far, for, for party party for event mm. event ganyan. it's not for that that's really good it's not for that that's, kasi nga um, yun naman yung ano ko eh yun naman yung ever since like what you said it makes me happy to help hindi siya for para pabida-bida <laughs> yung ganyan mm. para kung time kung time ko lang din yung pag-uusapan, I almost no, have no time for myself. So, bakit ko i-waste yung time? Mm. Ng, mm. Bakit ko i-waste yung time ko parang bida-bida or whatever eh, if I can, you know, if I can focus myself on making myself rich. Kung hindi ko, mm. parang kung tinanggal ko siya sa sa time ko, I would probably spend more time working and siguro mas mayaman ako ngayon. 
yung ganun, di ba? Parang siguro mas marami akong kita kasi mm. the more time I spend away from work, that's more time na I wasted na hindi ako naka-earn. Kasi kung per hour, kakalculate natin per hour yeah. ang bayad sa... Yeah. That's time away from my hourly pay, di ba? If I help someone. Mm. So, yeah. kaya yun, parang be wise before moving, kilalaning mabuti, huwag masyadong pagganahin ng puso. <laughs> Even yung mga, ano naman yung magtatrabaho dito, make sure na tama yung kontrata, na being followed, mm. alam nila, yung ganun. Kasi iba, pumupunta because, oh, it's Europe, I have to go. And then pagdating dito, eh, ano pala, yung employer pala, eh, scam, or hindi ka babayaran ng tama, or magtatrabaho ka for like, 12 hours a day, 6 <laughs> days a week, tapos mm. ang sweldo mo, minimum salary, eh, good luck. Mm. <laughs> diba? Just be wise yeah. about making decisions. Iba kasi parang hindi na nag-iisip na, oh, sige, Europe naman. Mm. Eh, hindi naman first world country ang Serbia. Parang Pinas din. Masa transitioning pa lang kami. Eh, hindi pa nga member ng EU ang Serbia. I know. <laughs> diba? Wag mo muna. I know. Hindi naman sa, I'm, I don't wanna discourage people from coming kasi, ako nga, ang dami kong benefits in survey. Diba? Parang, yes, there are a lot of benefits, free, free school, free healthcare mm. and everything. Pero, hindi ka naman wise, di ba? Hindi ka naman wise in making your choices. Wala, you'll end up like other Filipinos here being exploited. Mm-hmm. May iyak, uuwi, yeah. walang may wisa pamilya, daming utang, kasi pinangutang lang yung pamasahay papunta dito, tapos yung hindi ka wala kang. Mm-hmm. So, yun, be wise with everything. Mm-hmm. Parang everything True. naman, all information or, you know, in on the internet, yung magbasa-basa, wag basta maniniwala. Yeah, yeah, yun muna, yun na nga muna, be wise, and then um try to be good in any mm-hmm. craft or in a craft that you like most. Mm-hmm. Like, be, be good in something. I don't know whether it be cooking, taking care of people, Because I think it's always, ako, it's just my opinion, it's always good to invest and hone your craft. Then, for example, umasa sa ibang tao or let's say just expect somebody to come and save you. Um, yeah, um, hone your craft, invest in it, and then um, eventually that'll be your passport right. or your ticket. Eventually, to a better future, mm-hmm. and then, uh, and then I don't know, but I honestly, honestly, like believe in this. Like, if you help yourself, and I think if somebody helps himself, herself, um, I think the universe will always find a way to kind of like right. fulfill um what you really want. And if it's good for you, uh, for everybody, if it's you know, if it's, it's for the good. Eventually, mm-hmm. it will find you, and then I don't know. That's just right. What I, that's just what I believe in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plus, ano ba pala? I I will add na since you mentioned honing your craft, I will add na siguro for people who are uh, it as long as it's honest work, it should uh, be honest work. Siguro if mm-hmm. people are following like a partner. To, to Serbia or to another country, to any country for that matter. I've heard this from a lot of, um, uh, what do you call this? Speakers that I follow, like financial experts, mm-hmm. to have your own income. I know there are, like, you know, housewives, like homemakers who thrive in that um, capacity na magaling talaga. I, I admire like people who are homemakers feeling ko ako hindi ako magsurvive like, kasi I tried eh. parang and sometimes mag- I also have ako. that guilt um, uh, napapabayaan ko ba yung anak ko because um, uh, 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 uh. instead right, right. of uh, investing time sa work I should be uh, like probably uh, uh, uh. staying at home uh, uh. Uh, uh. But, kasi um, ano eh ako nga as a teacher di ba as a teacher before na nagigilty ako na parang I don't have time to actually sit down and teach them mm-hmm. Like yeah. how I was as a teacher sa mga estudyante ko before. Yeah. I could have mm-hmm. taught them this and that, like tips and mm-hmm. tricks and everything. Um, but I don't have time to do it. Um, mm-hmm. So, ako, basta ang point ko is, 
um i don't know like have your own income whether it's from selling something kahit part-time yeah um, or even if i don't know i met so many creative moms who probably would sell baked stuff from home that's also already a source hmm. of income and then you're also being creative and then just to have something yeah. for yourself feeling cool exactly I'm not sure as uh, feeling ko bash ako on this because there are others who are really really drive on and chaka there are others I who are really taken care of by their partners by their husbands or wives or what um pero there are others talaga na if you are struggling if hindi talaga uh kaya iba kasi nag nagi struggle to get out of the situation na abusive situation kasi they don't have anything they're dependent on their partners. Mm. So, yun yung mga kinukwento sa akin na I can't mm. get out eh because what am I when I leave? What can mm. I do when I leave? I don't have mm. anything. I don't have a job. That's the why I always tell someone. The first step is always the most difficult. But then, that's why I always tell someone, taken that, then, save once up. Once you've taken that work, difficult oh, step, you don't something. have any choice but to just survive right. and oh, make the best step, out of it. Mm-hmm. And then and daming, you and daming, fine. Yung iba, mas complicated pa yung, yung situation siguro. That's why they can't leave. Yeah. Pero ako kasi have no tolerance on abuse. Because my, yeah. well, my father is abusive when we were with him. So yeah. we had to live with that. We left that. We mm-hmm. left that um, situation. So medyo sensitive ako when someone tells me na, Ah, uh, kasi nasa ganitong sitwasyon ako na I'm being abused by my husband or something. Mm. So I always say that if we can leave that situation, struggle siya, ang hirap umalis sa ganung situation. Mm-mm. You can. The first step. Can. Mm-hmm. Oh, so pakilala sa iyo nanay ko, nanay ko so strong. I'm so proud of my mom for leaving the situation. She she brought up five stubborn kids <laughs> by herself. Ano <laughs> kung gaano kasakit sa ulo kaming mga magkapatid na, di ba, very, very rebellious when I was younger. Pero looking back now, mm-hmm. as a mother now, parang, oh my God, can I eat? Can I really do that? So, ayun, yun yung advice ko sa iba na, ano, like, have something, like, some some income for yourself. Hindi naman sa, even kahit na hindi ganun yung situation, kahit na hindi ganun yung situ- situation, kahit hindi sa abusive ser- situation. Parang, ano, um, better lang that you have something. Kahit na ta- well taken care of ka na, mali, mayaman talaga ang afa. Diba? Mm. Don't care. Sige. Oh, it's... Ano time? Diba? <laughs> Parang, kasi kayo showered with, ano, so many things, material things. It's, it's on you. But if it's not, okay, basta ganun lang yung advice ko, na have, have income. Okay? Like source yeah. of income or something. Yeah. Find ways. Kung hindi talaga, mm. wala kang idea, an- ano, ang daming resources, you can ask me. <laughs> yeah. Lagi naman sinasabi ko mm. sa mga Pinoy dito na naghahanap, ask me, uh, I, will, I will give you resources. I have many mm. links to yeah, many yun. online courses. Then, I may not have time to like, you know, Uh, teach you myself pero I can give you resources kan mag apply san mm-hmm. ano paano I can even yeah. siguro advise on how to make your resume better how to send cover yeah. letters ganyan mm-hmm. ganun mga little things that I can help with I I will help talaga kasi nakakatuwa when you help some pero diba? yun, it's a good feeling oh yun 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 siguro yung advice ko when someone is coming here think twice and have an income. Huwag iwanan mm-hmm. ng trabaho sa Pilipinas kung walang sure na trabaho yeah. dito. Mm-hmm. Sing hirap. I mean... And and for... And diba? ito, alam mo, i- dapat hindi ikahiya ang trabaho as long as it's oh, really, really an honest job. Oh, oh. If you're working hard and the job oh, is... You're earning honest money, right. hindi siya dapat ikahiya and um, mm-hmm. hindi mo dapat you shouldn't feel like you're little. Right. Mm-hmm. Never, oh, hindi naman ever. Ko. No. Pakakala kasi ng tao ang yaman ko. <laughs> Yung, nagsimula lang din po ako sa ano. <laughs> oh, I, 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 when I was new in Switzerland, I worked in McDonald's. Ha? I mean, so. Talaga? Yes, I did. But it wasn't long. But I did. I worked in McDonald's because I just needed to do I needed to 
I wanted I wanted pocket money <laughs> and <laughs> I needed to do something um in my spare time and the good thing in Switzerland it's I mean if you work professionally like you always get mm-hmm. like a certificate or something and and in Switzerland it's it's a country that really looks after the papers mm-hmm. that Not they the really papers. look for papers so anyway we're jumping topics napakawala organization podcast we can ito. do a part two <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. napakawalang organization hindi kasi it's like it's parang catching up it's Oo, like parang kape 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 this is really for the audience eh. um, this is really how we talk parang jumping from hmm. topic to topic so we usually, I usually just give a guide like what are we going to talk about and then bahala na we will talk yeah. we will talk and then we jump on different topics yes. so anyway para hindi sumobrang haba baka sabihin nila sobrang haba no? papakinggan nila yeah if our listeners have like questions that they want us to tackle ba? may mga additional Uh-oh. questions sila if they have questions they us, need gagawa help. namin ang topic yan gagawa namin ang topic yan in our podcast Yes. So, ayan. Hope you can, you know, uh, listen mm-hmm. para dumami ang views. <laughs> Follow yeah. us on, on Facebook and everything. So, ayan. I don't make friends a lot, but I like answering questions. I yeah. don't talk about life. Whatever I post in public, yun na yun. <laughs> yun na yun. Yun na yung yes. deepest that you can know me. Ayan. If you listen mm-hmm. to podcasts, you will probably get to know me a bit more kasi I will share my life. Here. But okay. you know, depende. Siguro ito judge nila ako based on what I said. Here. Based mm-hmm. on what we said. I'm always yeah. I don't know, I'm always afraid of. It. But bahala na keber. <laughs> so ayon. Hope to catch up with you next time. I'm gonna. Salamat. Ano, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank mm-hmm. you for catching up with.